Savage Business. Simple business advice for you to start and run your business. Welcome to another, well, actually this is the very first training video at Savage Business. Simple business advice to help you start and run your business. This is your host, Glendon Cameron, serial entrepreneur. So what we're going to talk about here is something that a lot of people need, how to start a business with absolutely no money. This video was brought to you by Hustlers Kung Fu University, AKA Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills, where our current course that we have going on is how to make money from scratch to set up in the foundation. So, if you want to get 50% off of this course, what you will do is leave a comment on this video. And also, there's a whole lot more for you at Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills. We deal with credit repair. We deal with how to start a business and the money management course. If you want 50% off of this course, leave a comment in the video. So we got a lot of stuff going on. So let's get into this wonderful bean footage. One of the things that I'm gonna to recommend to you guys in this video is to start a service business. One of the reasons that you should start a service business is you can start a service business, and I'm gonna define what that is in a moment, with absolutely no money and very little experience and very little capital outlay. Now, what is a service business? A service business is something where you save someone time. Car wash is a service business. Lawn service is a service business. Laundry um, pickup and dry cleaning are service businesses. House cleaning is a service business. Today, believe it or not, you can start a service business. I'm gonna tell you a story. On my other channel, I had created a course of about six, seven years ago. It was called 30 days to $2,500. And the deal was, the course was, if you show up on YouTube, you get the information for free. If you want the uh, lesson, the recorded version, you have to buy the course. And I was doing, I think it was day four or five, and there was this guy by the name of Cleaver who came on and he said, hey, what about me? I don't have any money. I don't have a car. Actually, I don't even have a place. I'm living on a living with a friend and I'm staying on his sofa. This is how bad my situation is. What is it for me? What can I do? And I instantly said, you can start a service business. And we went through a series of Q&A and Cleaver knew how to do work on computers. He knew how to fix computers. I said, all right. So what you do is you go find some customers and fix their computers. So Cleaver, to his credit, took action that day. He got on his bike, he lived in Kentucky, and he rode into town, and he started knocking on doors, and he went into a nail salon, and they had some issues with their computers. Cleaver knew how to fix their issues. He said, well, I can do this and do this. And Cleaver walked out of there with $500. No money invested, no business card, no logo, no brand, nothing. And then that day, he was so encouraged. The next day, he came in and it's like, look, I did what you said. And I went, I got three businesses and I fixed their computers and I made almost $1,000 yesterday. I was, a, I was like, I've never made $1,000 in one day. And this is the power of a service business. So you can start a painting company. You can start a lawn service. You can start a washer's car. You can start a dog walking service. There, This is for someone... If you're one of those people who doesn't know what kind of business you want to start, you have no clue. You're just like, I want to make some money, but I don't know what to do. I don't know where to start. Figure out how you can serve the people in your community and get paid. This is the easiest, the quickest, the cheapest, the fastest way to start a business. Because now this isn't the only way to start a business. No, 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 no. There, there are many ways that you can start a business with absolutely no cash. And what I'm going to do is talk about these ways individually instead of lumping them up in one video. But your goal should be to start a service business. 
if you're one of those people who don't have any money, don't know what you want to do when you grow up, you, you're just starving for some change, you hate your job. Oh, yeah, you're not quitting your job. No, no, no. Once again, let's talk about that for a second. You're not quitting your job. You're not leaving your job because your your job is going to be essential to support you while your business can support itself from the revenue it makes until it gets big enough. I want you to think of your business as a baby. You would not ask your baby, your six month old baby to go to the kitchen and get you a glass of water. That'd be utterly ridiculous. You'd be like, go get me some water. And you'd be like, the baby be like, goo goo ga ga. Because baby isn't mature enough to go get a glass of water. So when, you know, six years later, when you, the baby's six years old, go get a glass of water, the child can do that. And this is the same thing that happens with your business. Your business isn't mature enough to support you in the beginning. And this is one of the biggest problems that so many people have. They'll start a business and the next thing you know, they're quitting their job. You ain't that good, bruh. You ain't that good, sis. Because what's going to happen before you do this, and if you quit your job prematurely, what you're going to happen is you're going to run out of money and you're going to have to feel your self-esteem is going to take a hit because you're going to feel like a failure because it's like, hey, I started started a business and I was like, I got to go back to this job. I got to go back to this job. So next thing you know, you're back at a job and you still got these big dreams and ambitions. So the goal is you don't quit your job until it's starting to cost your business money. And you will notice it's like, you know, you got appointments and stuff. You can't go. You can't go. And cash flow is going to be a big factor because let's say you're making three thousand dollars a month and your business is consistently doing 10 to 15 consistently, not just the first month or the second month, but consistently. And you're starting to bump into some problems because your business requires more of your attention and your business is now mature enough to support you and itself. And this is when you ask the baby to go get you a glass of water, not before, because you know, everybody's like, I hate my job. And on the internet, there's all these fancy, I'm quitting my job, resignation letters and all this other nonsense. And the reality is you have so much to learn. But this is the easiest and fastest way you can start a business. And literally, you can start a service business at 9 a.m. in the morning. And if you hit it hard enough, you can make money that day. You can make money that day. That's how the power of a service business. I have a friend who owns a car wash. He does $1.8 million a year. It wasn't like that in the beginning. And he he's to the point where he can be off in Mexico while the business runs itself. And he's been doing this for 20 years. So that is, you know, many service businesses can become big boy businesses, painting services, plumbing services. Once again, now those are skilled service businesses. So if you don't have those skills, don't worry about that. If you are a raw person, just full of potential and you really want to get rolling and you really want to build something think about a service business because these are some of the things you're going to learn you're going to have to learn how to sell you're going to have to learn how to manage you're going to have to learn how to complete tasks and projects so a service business is really good for training you how to run your big boy business if you so decide once again i want you to watch all the videos on this channel because what's going to happen is each video is going to contain a lesson that can help you even if you are a current business owner even if you're a current business owner and you're making money you can still get benefit from this channel one of the things i want you to do is subscribe hit the bell notification and also what you know if three years in the future you can find this video i want you to go to the channel homepage and pick a playlist and start watching all of the videos because this is going to skill you up clarity and insight and training on how to run businesses because one of the things we're going to talk about is sales i know you know i don't want to be salesy i don't want to be 
If you want to run a business, you're going to have to sell something. Nothing happens until you sell something. Until someone buys your service or product, nothing happens. So I want you to get that out your head. I want you to critically understand the things that you're going to need to do for you to become a seasoned operator. Because when I went on my journey, my first job, I wasn't a seasoned operator. The second job, I wasn't a seasoned operator. The third job, I started to get a clue. You know, I was able to, because 100% commissions is self-employment. If I don't sell anything, I don't eat. That's how it was. And it, it trained me for the position that I'm in today. Because one of the things I fully understand is if you don't sell anything, nothing happens. And there are so many people out here who are rent seeking and rent seeking is trying to gain economic advantage without increasing value or offering any service. You just like, hey, pay me for being pretty. Pay me for being sexy. Just pay me for being whatever. And one of the things that you got to understand and acknowledge and know is rent seeking sucks the economy out of just sucks cash out the economy when you contribute to the economy when you give people value for their dollar you contribute to the economy you make the economy grow but if you're a rent seeker which is what many of these folks online trying to start an online business trying to get passive income they're just trying to get paid for doing absolutely nothing and that's possible and we'll address that later on on this channel but Matter of fact, I will tell you really quickly my passive income story. I wrote a book in 2009. It was a book. It was a how-to guide, how to make how to making money A to Z with self storage unit auctions. It's been so long since I've said that. And I wrote that book in three months, and I started selling it in October 2009. And from October 2009. 2010, 2011, no, 10, 11, and around 2012. So I actually did the work once, but I had to market the book. So it wasn't completely 100% passive income because the real passive income is you don't do nothing. You do absolutely nothing and money rolls in. But it was close, it was real close to passive income because of the amazing amount of money that was coming in. And I only did the work once. I wrote the book once and I sold it for years and years and years and years. And that is as close to passive income as I have come. And it changed my life. I mean, you know, I was doing like one YouTube video a week to promote it. And I was, I mean, literally, I had all of this free time. I had all this cash coming in and it was, kind of strange for someone who was used to working like 70 hours a week for me to now be in this position it was a little crazy but passive income usually is a derivative of active income let's say you build a business and then you sell it that can be considered passive income because you know you just sold a business so you know passive income everyone talks about passive income Passive income is really a tricky animal to tackle. You've got to do something or if you're going to get passive income out of the stock market, let's say you're going to, you're investing in dividend stocks. You're going to need five. Let's see. You're going to need each million that you have in stock it gets you about thirty to thirty-five thousand dollars a year in passive income. So you're going to need two to five million because if you got two million, that's going to be seventy thousand. You got four million, that'll be one hundred and forty thousand. So you're going to need four to five million dollars in dividend stock to get real substantial passive income. So you get the passive income, but you got to spend the four to five million to get it. So you got to do something kind of major to get that kind of passive income. 
So we, we'll be talking about that. And also I have a personal uh, finance channel on the main page. Y'all can check that out too. So be sure to, you know, if you come across this video two, three years in the future, be sure to subscribe, be sure to comment, but more importantly, go to the front of the channel and begin watching the playlist because each video is going to give you a lesson that you need to know. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next one.